Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another stream. Don't mind me, I'm just mixing some paint up here. Yeah, it's another stream, another day, and another pair of shoes I gotta paint. I got some big old shoes here, size 11. One of the biggest pairs I've ever even painted. So, um, but first off, how is everyone doing? With this whole corona shenanigans um how's everyone dealing with quarantine um some said it's five is it five you mean 5 a.m i don't know what you mean slowly going crazy oh that's not good to hear um but i'm honestly like doing pretty well, which like, I, it feels weird for me to say that. Um, but I have like a lot of art on my plate. Uh, and so like, I've been staying busy with that, which has been nice. Um, but obviously, you know, it'd be nice to go see friends and like, you know, go out into the public and stuff, but I'm chilling. I got my art to keep me company. So it's whatever. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start painting away. Um, I'm gonna learn how to paint on some shoes now. Hey, my brother's a size 11, can he have them? Actually, these are for a client. Um, my client wanted a, uh, he wanted three canvases and a pair of shoes, so these shoes are for him. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry, you can't get these. Someone else paid for them. It's 2 a.m. where you live. Wow, I appreciate you hopping on even though it's super duper late. I never know when to do the live stream because like for me, you know, seven o'clock seems like a decent time, but I forget, you know, people are in the different time zones and um, all that good stuff. Oh my, Georgia, bro, how bro do you bro stay bro motivated bro in these bro times bro. <laughs> uh, for anyone watching, Georgia is like literally one of my best friends from back home. Um, how do I stay motivated? Honestly, I just stay motivated. My half, it's, I, it's not even a choice. I just have to, I have so much art going on that like, it's either I keep on doing art or I don't get paid. So I'd, I'd much rather get paid. Um, can we buy paid from, don't know what that means. It's 1am in Wales. Oh my God. Gosh, you guys are just savages for staying up so late. I literally go to bed like at 9.30 or like 10 o'clock if it's like an, it's a late night. Let's see, do your painted shoes last? Would you recommend varnish? Um, yeah, my painted shoes, um, I've been painting shoes for the last like two years and I've never got any complaints. So I'm assuming they, you know, they hold up. Sometimes I will spray um, like a water resistant spray on it and it will protect a little bit more. But I mean, if you wear the shoes like in the mud, in the rain, like treat them like crap, then obviously they're going to like depreciate and like lose their value and like lose their um, lose their looks, if you will. So treat your shoes right. You should be fine. Um, I haven't had any problems so far. 12 p.m. in New Zealand. Wow, we have people from all over the place on this stream. That's bananas. Let's see. Do Uncrustables have crust? Shit. I mean, technically, right? There has to be an end to the Uncrustable. So, yes. Maybe. Dude, I'm not a, I haven't had an Uncrustable in, like, legitimately years. Years. This is the best art stream in a while already. Wow. It's been like four minutes and already the best. That is quite the compliment. I appreciate you. And uh, I love the Tom and Jerry um, drawing you did. That was dope. Appreciate it. What's up to South Africa? 2 a.m. in South Africa. Holy smokes. That is wild. Like I said a couple minutes ago, I go to bed like at 930. So like. Props to y'all for staying up so late. Just see 
my beautiful face. I like to think it's beautiful. Um, hello from the UK. Hello from the US. More specifically, Texas. Thanks so much. You're welcome so much. Um, what's everyone been like? What's everyone been up to? Like Netflix shows. If you've been watching Netflix, like jot down what shows you've been watching. I'll let you guys know what I've been watching. Um, or if you're like you're diving into some movies you haven't seen in a long time, uh, what you guys been up to? Or maybe you're like playing video games. Like what's uh, what's everyone up to? Um, I just finished watching. Um, shoot, uh, uh, Shit's Creek. I just finished watching Shit's Creek. It's pretty funny, pretty dope. Watch Money Heist. Never, never seen that, or never even heard of that. To be honest, been using a VPN for Netflix. Hey, How I Met Your Mother. I've never seen that either. Um, I haven't seen like a lot of shows. I've come to realize. I'm assuming it's good if y'all are just watching it. Um, Money Ice is good. I binged Fleabag on Amazon. I've never even heard of these shows. Fleabag. I'm assuming I'm assuming these shows have to be good since y'all are watching it. But I literally just have never heard of them before. A uh, little progress report. We got a couple colors down using a tan color. A little bit. Oof, it's so exposed. There we go. Um, How I Met Your Mother is amazing. You have to watch it. Well, I guess I have to now. I Maybe mean, I would just stop streaming and I'll just watch How I Met Your Mother. Nah, I won't. I gotta finish these shoes. And streaming's fun. I was super duper nervous for my first one, but now with the second one, I'm feeling easy, feeling breezy, feeling cover girl, if you know what I mean. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. The autopsy of Jane Doe is also good, but slightly scary. I literally can't do anything scary. I haven't seen a scary movie in like 12 years and I don't plan on anytime soon. I had like nightmares for like a whole week after I watched the scary movie and vowed to myself never, ever again. And so I haven't. Uh, so if it's scary, yeah, probs not. Probs not going to happen there. That's just me. I'm a little baby. Okay. We've got the tan. Oh, this is, oh there we go. Boom. Now we're going to go into the other shoe. Uh, Dexter is good. Um, again, I've seen like one episode of Dexter. Uh, tell me you've seen Stranger Things. Ooh, ooh. I've not seen Stranger Things. I know. I know. I can hear y'all typing away very angrily. Um, I haven't gotten to it. Uh, the thing is, I don't have Netflix. I like use like this sketchy website uh, to like watch all my shows, and I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, Tiger King is another one I've heard literally so much, and then on TikTok, I've been seeing all like the Carol Baskin dances and whatnot. I have not found time to watch it, uh, which is honestly pretty good. Like I'm super duper busy with art. Um, so I guess it's a good thing. I'm not like struggling to find, you know, what shows to watch next and whatever, but yeah, I've heard crazy things about Tiger King. I should probably check it out just so I can be like in the loop with everything going on. Do I get fan art? No, um, I don't have my address, uh, publicly out there uh, for the sake of my safety and the safety of my friends. Um, maybe one day I'll get a PO box or something, but as of right now, no, I don't have my address out there, so I don't get fan mail. Okay. Uh, what do I want to paint? What do I want to paint? I'll paint here. Hi, Nick. Sorry, I'm late. It's okay, mom. Mom, you don't need to apologize. It's all good. Your son can make it on his own for nine minutes without his mom. But I do appreciate it now that you're here. It gives me a sense of ease. 
Um, John says, hey, hey, you're definitely the most underrated artist on YouTube. That is quite the statement. Um, first of all, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, there, I think there's a ton of talented artists out there. You know, obviously I would love, and my goal is to, uh, get bigger on YouTube and, you know, develop a, a following million people like that'd be super duper cool. Um, but we're just not there yet, which is fine. It's okay. It's not a race. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Okay. Um, hmm. What do I want to do? I think this shoe would be fine. Okay, so now I've got these done. Now time to move on to another color. What spray paints do you use for hydro dipping? Mine doesn't stink. Stink. Stick. Um, I use a brand of spray paint called Rust-Oleum. Rust-Oleum spray paint is oil-based. Um, if you use anything like Montana Gold is what I use for like my canvases, that is acrylic based, so that won't mix with the water. Uh, you want something that's oil based. So I found the brand Rust Oleum works really well, but I'm sure there's a ton of other brands that could work just fine. Mama Ivy in the house, you sir are correct. My mother is watching, supporting her son, which I appreciate very much. Nick has joined the chat, so watch his best friend do his thing. Woo! Nick, how we doing? For anyone that's new in the chat, um, that is my best friend, Nick. We lived together in college for a couple years, and he's my dude. He's my dude. Much love for that dude. Um, okay, now I'm going to use I'm going to use this purple color. Oh, it's so overexposed. There's like no point in showing this. Um, but using purple now. Just why? Joy, what's up? Nothing much, just painting shoes. What's up with you? So, okay. Uh, for As far as Netflix shows and everything go, uh, Tiger King, Stranger Things, so far. Anything else that's been on people's radar? Um... I just started today watching what we do in the shadows. So funny. I don't know if anyone's even heard of that. Um, I don't even know when it's when it came out, but it is literally so freaking funny. And uh, you know, it's funny when you're laughing out loud to yourself. It's a good sign. Hello, sir. Hello. How art thou? Get it? How art thou art? Painting, art, pretty funny. Ozark, have to get on that. Ooh, that's another one I've heard um, a lot of hype about. I feel like drawing now, I want a Nick Ivy port. If you want to draw me, you're, I'm not gonna stop you, but I'm not gonna force you to do anything you don't want to do. You have the ability and choice to do whatever you like. We got some purple going on here. The Good Place on Netflix or Hulu is my favorite. Uh, I've never heard of The Good Place. The Office is still good after the 60s. Yeah, I don't think The Office will ever get old, in my opinion. Um, I've seen that a couple times. But honestly, as soon as like Steve Carell left, I like the show just like lacks so much, uh, which is like. It's, it's sad, but um, I just love Michael Scott so much. All of his improv and, yeah. Okay. Ooh, Black Mirror. I've never, again, I've, dude, I haven't seen so many shows. I haven't seen Black Mirror. I think I maybe watched one episode, and that was just because it was, like, on in the room. Um, I don't even know who was watching it, but I just, like, happened to watch one episode of it. Sex Education, I've seen the first season. I have yet to see the second season. That has got to be on my list for sure, for sure. 
Uh, I loved the first season, so yeah. Um, Got to watch the second one. I just love British accents so much. That's just a, it's a guilty pleasure, I guess. Four ninety nine. Oh my gosh! Watch Street. <laughs> you just donated <laughs> enough for me to get Netflix. Oh my gosh! I appreciate that so much. Now I have to. There's no more excuses. There's literally no more excuses. I I have to. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's so funny. Wow. Big Bang Theory. I haven't heard someone talk about Big Bang Theory in a long time. Another show I've never even watched an episode with. Which maybe it's my fault. Maybe, you know, I'm starting to think I'm not giving shows a chance. I'm spend, spending way too much time on art and not enough time getting my pop, my pop, my pop culture down. Okay, we're pretty much good with purple on this shoe. Got purple there, purple there, purple there, a little purple dot right there. And now on to the other shoe. Who do you make these shoes for? I make shoes for anyone and everyone that orders. Uh, these are actually for uh, an NFL player. I'll just say that um, and say only that. Some very exciting stuff. Um, and yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see it in the near future. I'm still working on his canvases and stuff. So uh, in due time, you will be able to know who it's for. But just know that these are for a NFL player, which is super duper cool. And I'm super humbled and flattered that uh, this dude wants some stuff. Oi, bro. Oi, Logan. So good to have you here. Um, Logan and I have this thing where we just talk in a British accent together to each other, I should say. And we text each other just oi, bro. It's a fun fact. It's a fun fact. Let's go, Ivy. Hope you're doing well during this time. I am doing well. Um, I might be in quarantine, but I have enough art to keep me distracted. So I, I'm actually doing really well. And obviously I miss, you know, going out, going to the gym, going to see people and whatnot, but it can wait. It can wait. Um, Got to do your part to flatten the curve, as they say. LeBron James. <laughs> you know for sure that LeBron isn't in the NFL, Logan. You know that. You're just pulling my strings. Le I just noticed that so many artists on YouTube wear beanies. Beanies are dope. I don't know what else to say. Um, I will say that with these big bright lights, um, I am getting a little warm. And so maybe a beanie wasn't the right choice, but you live and learn. You live and you learn. So whatever. I'm going to go bankrupt. You don't need to donate, donate to me. I really, I'm not doing the streaming in order to get donations from people. So please don't feel like you need to. Um, I'm simply on here because I have to paint these shoes and I want to talk to y'all. So it's a win-win in my eyes. So yeah, you don't need to feel like you need to donate in order to watch me stream or anything. I'm doing it because I love it. And that's what it's all about. Okay, I'm going to do some more perp right here. Or actually, yeah, I'll do it. Here we go. LeBron is definitely in the NFL. He's a shortstop. Yep. You right. You right. Oh my gosh, Levi. Do I have some news for you, dude? These might be for you. They might not be for you. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it up to your own discretion. Um, how did you and Ryan Trahan meet? Um, we met um, like two years ago or a year and a half ago. I literally left a YouTube comment on his video. I was like, yo, dude, would love to make you some art for free. And um, he said, yeah, I'm down. 
And then I flew down. He was living at Florida at the time. I flew down to Florida, made him some free art and kicked it off and became friends. And like, we just, just vibed well and um, stayed in contact and started talking a lot more. And then he was like, dude, you just like come down to Texas. And I was like, okay. And I moved down to Texas. So long story short, we just, we met because I left him a YouTube comment. Um, so yeah, that's the story. I have to finish my edit for the boss, man. Have a good, good stream. Peace out, Logan. Have fun editing. I'll be here painting these shoes. Um, uh, what's your favorite project you've ever done, man? Um, that's a good question. Um, my answer always ends up being whatever is my latest project. Um, uh, I'm working on like six different cans canvases right now. Um, also got like three pairs of shoes I got to paint. Um, so to answer the question, it feels like whatever my newest project is my favorite. Um, uh, cause I feel like I'm always getting better. Um, you know, practicing your craft always getting better. So, um, so yeah, whatever is my latest project. Um, on my Instagram, the art I made for Brandon Clark, he's an NBA player. Um, I just love the, the colors and the portrait that I, um, that he chose for me to do. Uh, that's currently my, my favorite project. Um, so if you want to go to Instagram at Nick Ivy, you can see it there. Okay, for the next color, uh, I'm gonna use uh, this Angelus gift box blue. And then also you gotta mix Angelus paint with, um, let's see. You gotta mix it with this Angelus Too Soft um, because leather paint won't adhere to canvas shoes. So you gotta add in Too Soft, mix it a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, so I just, I mixed it into like this little, this little bottle. Um, let's see. Do you have any advice for artists wanting to begin selling their art? Uh, I can only speak from experience with that question. Uh, my advice would be um, start off with friends and family. Start like me. I made shoes for people for free uh, within my network, my friends and my family. Um, and then some friends, you know, I charge me like 20 bucks. Um, and then just to get the word out there, they might post on their Instagram and maybe one of their friends was like, Oh, that's cool. Um, I want something I'm like, all right, like I know they're like 20 bucks here and there. Um, and then slowly but surely the more work that you put out, the more people that will see it, which then in turn, uh, you'll get more inquiries, which with me personally, every time, you know, I got an order, I increased my prices a little bit just to see, you know, what I could get. And if um, like no one questioned it, then I can raise my prices. Um, but if someone, you know, put up a fuss, then I'm, I might be like, oh, that might be too big of a jump. Um, but really to start out, I would suggest painting shoes for like your friends and your family, doing it for free or doing it for like, you know, short money, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 50 bucks. Um, and then I really just started reaching out to people that I liked and started, you know, making them art for free. Like, like I just talked about with Ryan Trahan, like I literally made him art for free just so we could connect. And, um, and then he ended up wanting to like, you know, put me on a second channel and stuff. And I got more traction that way, which was awesome. And I didn't expect that. Um, so really, uh, start small, which, that's like super cliche to even say all that stuff, but it's true. Like, I mean, that's what I did. Um, start off with like little deals here and there and then just work your way up and then eventually get to the point where you can start charging a lot more and start making a living off of it. Uh, six canvases, bro. I'm out here trying, drawing random things with crayon colored pencils. You got to start somewhere. I'd be so stressed out with six canvases. Yeah, it's a little, a little stressful, but I mean, I'm well aware, like I, um, you know, I said yes to a lot of projects because I know that I knew what I was getting into. So I'm not really like too concerned with it. It is stressful, but I just take it a little bit, like a little day by day and, uh, yeah, just take it easy. And, um, and I let the 
customers know that's going to take me a while because I don't want to rush anything with all my projects. Um, that's the last thing you want to do, especially the more you get into your career and the more like you build up a reputation and whatnot, you don't want to start rushing projects just to get them out and everything. So take your time, make sure everything's done right. And um, so, yeah, let's see. I'm here again. Nice to have you. I like pineapple best on pizza. That's cool. Everyone has their thing. I personally don't. I'm a big fan of just straight up cheese pizza or even like just like chicken, like buffalo chicken or regular chicken on my pizza. Uh, nothing too crazy. How do you figure out the focus of your YouTube channel? I'm thinking about starting one because I'm into videography. Honestly, I'm still trying to figure it out. I've been on YouTube for so long. Uh, this channel right now, I've been on it for four years and I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. I actually just filmed a video today, like um, a reaction video for the first time ever. I'm going to see like what kind of interest that will generate and maybe I can do more like artist reacts to this, artist reacts to that, especially during this quarantine time. Like I'm here by myself, like I might as well like try different videos and try to see what sticks. Um, Cause I've done my fair share of like shoe customizations, you know, me painting canvases for people and stuff. And like, I found success, but like not like virality and like this huge gaining, which, you know, ultimately I want, you know, I want to have a, a, a bigger following and make art for a bunch more people and stuff. Uh, anyways, uh, the green is done on the shoe right here. Bada boom. Now I gotta go to the other shoe. Um, I've done a canvas before. It's very stressful. Yeah, your first couple ones can definitely be stressful. Um, and especially like your first couple paid jobs can be super stressful as well. But just with anything in life, you, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get and the easier it becomes. Um, just like w literally what I'm doing right now, painting shoes. The first shoes I ever painted, I was so nervous. It took me so long. But now I got to the point where I can literally paint shoes and talk to y'all and live stream. Um, so it just gets easier the more you do it. Um, but yeah. Are you using fabric paint? I am using, let's see. I'm using this airbrush paint right here. Um, Cretix airbrush paint. It's great for canvas shoes. And then I also use uh, this Angelus leather paint. But then you have to mix that with this Angelus Too Soft, which is an, an adhesion promoter. Um, you mix that a one-to-one -one ratio in order for the leather paint to adhere to canvas shoes, but you don't need to mix it if you're just using, say, this leather paint on like Nike Air Force Ones. Uh, let's see, let's see. Customize a blank skate deck. Um, actually, I painted a couple skateboards uh, on my channel already. Uh, last summer. If you want to, you can check it out. But yeah, I wouldn't mind doing a new one. Um, it's always a cool idea. They're fun to do. Um, you just need like a lot more resources. Like you need to, you need to sand it down. You need to prime it up, and then paint it obviously, and then also use a um, a uh, finisher on them to make sure the paint lasts. Um, are you already planning on making merch? Um, I've thought about it, but I don't think I'm at a level right now where like making merch is like necessary. Um, I don't have like the biggest following, so it's not on my mind right now. I'm, I'm way more focused on like, you know, making art, making shoes, making these YouTube videos than I am trying to make merch. So um, in due time, I will, but um, not anytime soon, I don't think. Say hi to Auntie Allison. Hi, Auntie. Hope you're doing well. I miss and love you. Um, and yeah, for everyone in the chat, both my mother and my aunt are in the chat. So that's always good. I love them. Appreciate them. And I love the support. Um, another Netflix show is Anne with an E. I've never even heard of that. Um, Maybe I'll have to check it out. There's literally so many. There's so many freaking shows I got to check out. 
Uh, I'm new to your channel, so there. yeah, check it out. Um, I've done, I forget what it's called. I think it's just like turning skateboards into wall art or something like that. But yeah, it was filmed last summer. Um, yeah, that came out pretty cool in my humble opinion. Becca's here too, we like the shoes. Thank you. Yeah, the shoes are coming along pretty well. Pretty well. Um, I'm almost done with this green color. And then I will do, um, I think gray for the last color. Need to get pizza. Don't blame you. Anyone needs to leave the stream for any reason, you're more than welcome to. Uh, I'm here regardless, just painting away. Okay, we're done with this green. And now I gotta mix. Actually, I think I might have a gray behind me. Um, which, yeah, speaking of which, I'm so pumped about this. Got this bookshelf to have all of my paint and supplies just nicely organized. You know, the older you get, the more pumped about, the older you get, the more you get pumped about organization and shelves and stuff. So, yeah, I'm pretty pumped about it. Okay, for this last color, I think I'm going to use gray. So, again, I mixed together some Angelus paint. Uh, I use this Angelus light gray. Let's see here. Light gray paint. I felt that so hard. Yeah, honestly, the older you get, the more pumped about boring stuff you get. Yell, I love beans. I love beans. Uh, organized is actually fun. Yeah, honestly, I loved putting together um, like organizing all my books up here and all my paints, paints and all this stuff. Like, no, oh yeah, all these shoes I gotta paint right here. And then also some Nike Air Force Ones I gotta paint. We got a lot to do, we got a lot to do. So maybe more live streams in the future. Okay, what camera do I use? I have a Canon 80D. It's not the best camera. Uh, it's kind of like the beginner camera, if you will, but. I find it works just well for me. Um, I don't do any crazy videography. Uh, so yeah, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Um, okay, does anyone have any, um, any meals they've been making while in quarantine that are pretty good? Because your boy is struggling with food. Um, I pretty much can only make chicken and rice, so I've been living off that for like a lot, a lot of meals. My mom wants a shout out. Her name is Mindy. Hi, Mindy. Hope you're doing well. My name is Nick, and I'm out here just painting shoes, as you can see. Having fun, painting shoes. Uh, but like I was saying, yeah, I've just been making chicken and rice, and... Honestly, it's getting a little boring. Uh, so I'm wondering if anyone has any, you know, any go-to meals that they that they like. Um, barbecue. Honestly, I'm not a huge barbecue dude. Just something about it. I know I live in Texas now, and you know, barbecue is super big in the South, but not my thing. Not my thing. Nick says Monster Mash. I have a recipe for you. A monster mash. That's very enticing. I don't even know what it is, but it sounds delicious. You'll have to text me the recipe because I'm just dying to know. Chicken Alfredo is always super good and pretty easy. Yeah, I've made chicken Alfredo like literally once in my life. Um, the more I'm talking to y'all, the more I'm realizing I haven't done so many things. There's so many shows I haven't watched. There's so many meals I haven't tried. I got to set my whole game up. Breakfast potato? What is a breakfast potato compared to like a normal potato? Again, very, very intriguing. 
it's going to be interesting to see like who comes out of like this quarantine stuff, like who comes out like an amazing chef, who comes out stronger, who comes out reading more books, who's come out, you know, make, like with new hobbies, juggling, knitting, like whatever. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I'll tell you one thing, doing at-home workouts is getting a little annoying as well. Uh, there's only so many burpees and so many air squats you can do just day after day and then run. Not fun. It's not fun. Spoonfuls of air. That sounds delicious. That sounds scrumptious. Actually, I have that for breakfast. I end up, for the past like four months, I haven't really eaten breakfast. I've been fasting. Um, I only eat from like noon or like one to like seven or eight at night, um, which I've grown to like it a lot, um, but it's not for everyone. You donate another, do you don't need to donate. You said you're a poor. I very much appreciate your donation. Um, but again, I hid you in my drawing from this morning. I have to, I got to check it out. I got to see what you're talking about. That sounds intriguing. Throw some Frank's Red Hot in there and it'll taste like a whole new meal from Becca. I literally can't stand hot food. <laughs> Every, I feel like everything y'all say, I'm just like disagreeing with. Um, but literally like I start sweating even at the smell of like hot food. Um, I I can't do it, which is funny because I'm kind of contemplating doing a video um, where I mix art and doing like a hot ones challenge. So that might be in the future. And if it is, y'all in for a treat because I do not do well with hot food. On that fasting, yeah, I am on that intermittent fasting intermediate as as some people say um yeah i've been fasting i like it oh uh, it's cubed fries that you cook in a saucepan hmm. sounds healthy okay we are done with this shoe the gray is all done bada boom bada bang okay now time for the other shoe <laughs> excuse me it's not on my channel, but I upload it. You don't need to if you don't. I'm not going to force anyone to do anything. Okay. These shoes are actually coming up pretty cool. They remind me of like New Orleans colors for some reason. Nola. Oh, we have 23 people in here? Wow. Hey, we have a whole squad, a whole classroom in here. That's awesome. I haven't like looked up once. What size are these? These are size 11, men's 11. These are for um, one of my clients, mom. Um, the dude that wanted three canvases and a pair of shoes. These are his shoes. So mom's got the inside scoop, but most of y'all don't know. But we'll soon find out once I post on Instagram at Nick Ivy if you want to follow, which I'm assuming everyone that's in this chat follows me. So don't have to worry there. I'm not going to hound you guys and keep on promoting it. Okay, another section to go. Let's see. How do you decide color schemes? Uh, for the most part, uh, they are based off of what their customer wants. So uh, the client wanted, well, I did this color pattern, this color palette before. And so the customer um, was just like, yeah, I kind of want to recreate those colors. So I said, okay. So uh, I would say like 90% of my orders, um, the customers just pick what colors they want. Sometimes I'll have customers that just be like, surprise me with everything. And so I just have to use my best judgment on what colors would work well to, with each other. Um, and every time someone has wanted me to surprise them, I have not let them down, which has been dope. 
Um, but yeah, color schemes are picked from my customers nine times out of 10. Okay, we are done with the gray on this shoe. Bada boom, bada bang. And now we got these dry for like, I don't know, like 10 or 15 minutes or so. Um, so in the meantime, we will be chatting, hanging out, vibing out. Hey, handsome, so great to see my Dukes tuning in. Uh, I'd kill for a couple hot pies. <laughs> Shout out Brandon. Brandon has been one of the one of the day one homies. I uh, appreciate you chiming in. And a fun fact, we used to just live off of Hot Pockets. No matter how cold they were in the middle or how hot they were on the outside, we would eat those and like chocolate chip pancakes for days, for days and days. Can I pay for some custom shoes? Yeah. Um, obviously, you can. Uh, I do most of my work through Instagram. So again, at Nick Ivy, uh, you can DM me and I'll we'll answer all my DMs, um, talk about pricing and whatnot. But, um, but if you're not in the U S then I can't do it. I don't do any international shipping. Um, I've lost quite a lot of money from people just being bad people, um, and saying they never got their products and stuff and blah, blah, blah. And it's just, it's a hill. It's a, it's a huge hassle. So I don't do any international shipping. Uh, Brandon says completely raw pancakes. Yeah, <laughs> the pancakes would be super raw. Um, just straight up like dough, which honestly, not that bad. Not that bad. I actually kind of preferred it that way. Like a little bit, a little bit doughy. I don't know if anyone else can relate to that besides Brandon and I, but um, I don't have Instagram. Well, I'm sorry. Um, if you're wondering about inquiries or anything, um, nicholasib at gmail.com. Um, actually, I'll just type it out since I have time to talk. Anyone wants any inquiries, nicholasib at gmail.com. Uh, boom, bada bing. I feel like that's my go to thing. If I don't know what to say, I just say bada boom, bada bing. Don't know where I got it from, but. Whatever. Oh, I need to grab my markers uh, for the outlining. And if you're curious, this is a juggling. Uh, holds juggling balls, this sack. Where you might get spammed. Actually, that's a valid point. Um, I might as well just delete that. That's a, honestly a smart move. I don't think about these things. You got that from saying, you got that saying from your father. That is probably accurate. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, you're right. Um, this sack holds these juggling balls, which, fun fact, Brandon, who is in the chat, um, taught me how to juggle. I'm not good at all. I haven't practiced in so long, but we're going to give it a go, which is very dangerous now that I'm thinking about it. There's so much that can go wrong, but I'll do it for the stream. Okay. Ah, oof. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. We're gonna try it again. <clears throat> ah. 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 Okay. That's I'm getting like really hot. Um, but that's that's me juggling. But you probably didn't expect that from this stream, you know, me painting shoes, but that's what you get. You never know what you're going to get. Okay. Um, we got a bunch of markers. That's better than I could do. It's not bad. Like, I know the fundamentals of it. Like, I know, like, technically what to do. It's just a matter of doing it that's, like, super hard. Um, that was a close one. Any advice to a young artist? Patience, hard work, all of the cliche things are so true. Um, I've been doing art for like a little over four years and only in the past like three or four months, I've been able to like make enough money to support myself financially. 
So it's been a long journey, um, but I never let the numbers affect me or anything like that. Just like literally working hard, putting out good content, getting better and opportunities come. And if you can grasp those opportunities and make the most of them, then great. Um, but yeah, I think the big thing is like just being patient and being okay with it, taking four years, five years, six years, however long it takes. Some people, it's like overnight, you know, with four months, they can post a video and have it blow up and get so much traction, or they can post one thing um, and get so much attention. But uh, with me, it's been like a long journey so far, and it's still obviously still going. Um, but yeah, four years of like not really caring how long it takes uh, and realizing that. Like, I'm just a big believer in like doing good and knowing that like good will come back into your life, whether you want to call that the law of attraction or just like being a good person, karma, like whatever. Uh, I'm just a huge believer in like setting out your intentions, your, your affirmations, what you, what you say to yourself is what you believe to yourself and what you believe is what you attract. And so I kind of harp on being a good person and doing good things and having faith that good things will come my way. And so in the past four years, yeah, now it's um, it's come to fruition that I can support myself financially, which is like a s super grateful that I can be in this position at my life at this juncture. Um, so yeah, as cliche, cliche as it sounds, like being patient and hard work and like having a good mindset and everything has been like the most important thing. Um, Hannah Fox, practice, practice, practice. Yeah, practice, practice, practice. You can't, if you wanted to be good at like basketball, you wouldn't just like sit down and read and like think about playing basketball. You have to go out there and like physically put up your shots, dribble, like whatever basketball players do um, in order to get better. So it's the same thing, whether it's YouTube or making shoes, making art, um, it's all just practice and getting better. So yeah, that's no, uh, no different, no different at all. Hopefully these are getting dry soon. Um, Alondra, hi, how you doing? I'm chilling. For anyone new that's coming into the chat, um, I'll show you one second. We are just chatting, hanging out, uh, waiting for these shoes to dry. I did the base colors already. And now we're gonna wait and add in the the doodles on top so yeah just letting this dry a little bit more still like a teensy bit wet actually i'm going to be back in like 30 seconds i'm going to put these in front of the fan so they can dry so they can dry faster oh, i'll be right back I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, Epic Art says, what's up, Nick? We're chilling, I just put my shoes next to the fan so they can dry a little bit faster and get this ball rolling. Um, that's one thing you don't wanna do. You don't, you don't wanna start drawing on the shoes that are wet, because that would just be bad. And I've done that before. It's not fun, it's not fun. Set plan A into motion, what does that mean? What do you guys? conjuring up here um you always do the best color combos i could never come up with those colors my brain do doesn't work that way um honestly i don't think like i was saying earlier a lot of my customers just pick the colors they want and i kind of just do whatever they want um but i kind of just gravitate towards using bright colors because especially if i'm using um like these Black Sharpies, um, you don't want dark colors because you won't really see the contrast between the um, the doodles. So using bright colors like pink or like this green over here um, or a light, a light sand color or a light gray, um, those will work well with uh, the contrast and make sure your doodles pop and stand out. Um, 
Is there a project you'd like to do in the future? Um, I mean, that's such a broad question. I would love to make art for like, you know, some A-list celebrities. Um, I would honestly, one goal would just be like make art for Big Sean. Big Sean is like my favorite rapper, uh, one of my favorite artists. So making art for him would be like incredible. I can see you're keeping a good attitude during this virus. Yeah. Um, I mean, with this, given any hard time, whether it be a virus or a bad circumstance in your life, um, you're given two options. Um, you can either react poorly or you can react not poorly, goodly, if you will. Uh, and so, yeah, you can play into the fear, play into everything and be freaked out or um, just do what you can and live your life and try to do what makes you happy. So I spend a lot of time listening to podcasts, reading books, um, FaceTiming friends, and not to mention I have so much art to do that that keeps my mind off of everything. So um, I'm doing the best I can and just have faith that, you know, I am doing whatever I can. So I can't worry about what other people are doing or what, whatever the news is saying, uh, I'm doing my part. And so I have to be happy that I am doing that and I'm doing the best I can. So yeah, you can't control any circumstance, but you can always control your attitude on how you react to it. So that's something I kind of stand by. And um, yes, yeah, much better being happy and being positive than it is to be sad. Uh, but I definitely have my moments. I'm not always positive 24 um, seven. There's ebbs and flows, but for the most part, I try to stay positive. So yeah. Um, Nicole says, what's next for Nick? Um, just try to more art as vague as that sounds. I have some more projects lining up some bigger clientele people. Um, and just really trying to grow my audience. Um, so with like my physical side of art, we are, we, I'm planning on doing, um, more stuff for more higher profile clientele, if you will. And as far as YouTube goes, I am filming a bunch more different concept videos, like artist reacts videos, um, maybe even trying some five minute crafts, like some art hacks or something. Um, just really trying to just make different videos and see what sticks and, um, yeah, just try different stuff and keep on going outside my comfort zone because that's where you'll grow. Another cliche saying, but also so true. Um, have I done cow pattern shoes? No, I have not done any animal related. That might be a cool maybe video, like doing like a cheetah, a cow, tire, zebra, you name it. Um, that might be cool, like creating animals, chew creating animal patterns on shoes or something. That might be pretty interesting. Just got a donation, 99 CA, am I, is that Canadian? Yeah, that's Canadian, right? I appreciate that. Thank you. It's weird that people donate. Um, not weird, not weird, weird, but it just, it's not, I'm not used to it is what I'm trying to say. I appreciate it. Thank you uh, for letting me continue what I do. Much love. Um, uh, let's see, let's see. What do you do when you mess up? Uh, do you try to cover it up? Yeah, most of the time when I mess up, um, say I'm doodling and I want to make a certain pattern, but maybe I extend my line too far. I just turn that mistake into doing something else. Like maybe I'll turn that line that went too far into a big circle. And then now I have a different pattern and a different style. Uh, the good thing about my art and my aesthetic, like with all these doodles, um, it looks so chaotic and there's no plan, which for the most part, that's true because there is no plan. But uh, so that gives me a lot more leeway to mess up. And if I mess up painting a canvas, um, luckily spray paint is super easy to cover up. So if I go too far with one color, I can just use the other color and spray over it and mask it away. So it's not a huge deal if I over spray something. Um, so luckily most of my mistakes can get turned into um, more art or it can be easily fixed. So it's not a, it's not a huge thing. Um, 
I love the way you think, man. I appreciate that. Uh, the way you think dictates your life. And so if you think positively, then more often than not, positive things will happen into your life. I read a lot of books about self-development, listen to a lot of podcasts. Um, and yeah, just try to surround myself with positive people. And if you can't be literally with people physically, you can always surround yourself using podcasts, reading books, like surround yourself like visually and audibly. So it's my little piece of advice. Another donation, 279. I appreciate that. I love your art and positivity. Much love, much love. Oh, that's, that's cool. Um, nice how you can sit back and relax doing what you love at the same time making money. Yeah, honestly, I am in a pretty unique spot, uh, a spot that I've, I've, I've asked for, honestly. Um, I've been wanting this for a long time and putting out into the world that this is the life I want to live. And so, yes, it's starting to come together and it's been amazing so far. So yeah, to able to be able to make a living doing what you love to do. I have no words for it. Um, super grateful every morning I wake up and I literally, my morning routine, I wake up and the first thing I do is like, I go into the bathroom, look in the mirror and I just like list off whatever I'm grateful for. Um, which it might sound corny to some people. That's just something I do. I list off whatever I'm grateful for. And then I directly hop into a cold shower. It's not fun. And I always like dread going into it, but a cold shower, there's so much like, um, so much science behind it that like it does so many good things for your body, but then also for your mind to do something uncomfortable right when you wake up makes you feel like a sense of accomplishment and sense of like, oh yeah, I can do anything I want. Um, I just did something super hard and super uncomfortable first thing in the morning. Now I can attack the day. Um, so that's my morning routine. I don't know how we started talking about that, but um, Nick, corny. Yeah, corny, whatever. I don't care, dude. I don't care. Message retracted. <laughs> well, I saw it too late. <laughs> um, okay. We're creeping up. I'm going to say with another two and a half minutes, I'm going to go get the shoes and then we can start working on um, the patterns. I just want to let the shoes dry a little bit more. So if anyone has any questions they're dying to, to ask and they want my full undivided attention, now is the time. Uh, we're still chilling, waiting for the shoes to dry. Um, but I do like corn. I like corn too, popcorn. I like corn in my burrito bowls from Chipotle. I haven't been to Chipotle in so long due to the corona and whatnot. Um, Nick, are you a gamer? I am not. I haven't had a video game console in like six years, seven years, something like that. Um, I used to play, I mean, you probably assume, like, you probably guess this, but I used to play Skate, Skate 2, Skate 3 on Xbox. I love those games. Still love those games. Uh, but yeah, I never got into Call of Duty or Fortnite or anything like that. Like, I don't like shooting games or anything. Um, yeah, I don't have any gaming console, so uh, unfortunately, I do not game. Why haven't you watched Stranger Things? I don't know. It simply, it just comes down to time. Um, I spend a lot of my time doing art, and I kind of feel guilty if I'm watching too much TV or too much Netflix or whatever. So I end up doing art all the time or I'm, you know, making YouTube videos or I'm editing YouTube videos or I'm just going for a walk to clear my head. Uh, if I wanted to commission splattered shoes from you, is there specific material the shoes have to be or material to stay away from? Um, honestly, so I just did these. If you saw one of my latest YouTube videos, you'll see that I made these shoes um, and Nike Air Force Ones are um, are leather. So I'm able to use like this Angel's leather paint with it, but I'm actually going to do for my next pair of shoes, I'm gonna use a pair of Vans. Uh, and so I'm gonna use this splatter technique on a canvas shoe with Vans. So uh, I can let you know in like, I don't know, a couple of days or so whenever I do it to see 
what comes out better. Um, but I don't, I don't think there should be a problem if I do canvas. Um, I would say either leather or canvas you'd be cool with. Um, suede, probably not the best material to use when customizing shoes. Uh, it's a lot of, it just makes for a big headache, let's just say. Um, not to be offensive or anything, but are you religious? No, I'm not. I'm not, um, I don't identify to any one religion. I do believe that there is a higher power, whether you want to call that God or energy or whatever. I believe in that, but I just don't believe that it's necessarily Jesus or Buddha or whatever. So I don't really identify to one religion. Um, I just have a belief in the higher power or God or whatever you want to call it. What's your favorite thing to paint or something that you want to paint? My favorite thing to paint, um, probably canvases. Uh, I just love, I mean, they're just massive things to paint. And so I can get really detailed with them and like really go deep and add in a lot of stuff. Um, I just love painting everything. Like Nike Air Force Ones are super fun to paint. Like these, again, were like so fun to make, just like tape it up and then like, I literally just like was flinging paint at it and just seeing what happens. And they came out super duper cool. Just look at that. Oh my God. So cool. Um, something that you want to paint. I don't have, I've painted a lot of things. I painted skateboards, shoes. I've painted cafeteria walls. I've painted phones, I've painted speakers, I've painted literally so many things. Um, I don't have anything necessarily that like I need to paint or like have a desire to paint. Uh, I just want to paint more stuff. Let's see. Have you read Steel Like an Artist? No, I have not. I've heard about it, um, but I haven't read it. Maybe I'll add that to the list. Are you going to hydro dip in this live? No. Um, hydro dipping inside is a no, no, a bunch of fumes and frankly, just make a huge mess. So no hydro dipping. Unfortunately, I wish I could inside. Um, but mm -mm. where's the best spot to get a burger where you live? And then water burger. Yeah. I'm assuming I, haven't gone out too far. I've only lived in Texas for like four months, so I'm still pretty new. Um, and especially now at this time, you know, everything's closed down, so I can't go out and try new places. But um, I'm assuming I'm going to take Alondra's word for it and say Whataburger. I don't know. But I'm going to grab the shoes, and we'll start working on the uh, doodles. Okay, another donation? What is going on? How is your quarantine going? Well, it's going good now. Just got another 297. Thank you. That is dope. Um, my quarantine, I've said that a couple times before, but I'll say it again, don't mind. It's going pretty well. I have a lot of art projects to do. I've got like six canvases and like three or four pairs of shoes I gotta paint. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty busy, which is good. And also, I got to film more of YouTube videos and everything, so I'm busy. Um, oh, he in Texas? Yeah, I'm in Texas. You're correct. Okay, so now I'm going to use uh, these Sharpie paint pens. Wow, you cannot see this. I don't know even why I'm, I'm trying. But they're called Sharpie paint pens. And simply going to outline each color. Um, shape. I've been beat in the donation. It's not a game. You don't need to compete. Um, I appreciate every single donation. Um, there's no sense to compete. Oh, he in Texas. Yes, I am in Texas. Yeehaw. I moved down from Massachusetts. Quite the climate. Quite the change in climate. 
Um, but so far, so good. Chilling. Lagging so hard. Sorry for the spam. No worries, dude. No worries. Don't bother me. Brick. I just messed up. But the good thing is, I can just wipe it away because it's still wet. Okay. Um, when I paint, I can't keep my hands from shaking. Any tips? Um, I think you can, there's like these brushes. It's basically like a long stick that you can hold with one hand. So you're basically like, I don't know what they're called. I've just seen them on like Instagram, but basically it's like a long stick and then you can use it to like rest your other hand on. So it creates like a sturdy surface, I guess. I'm literally no help because I don't know the name of it and I don't even know what I would Google in order to find it. Um, but that's my advice. Um, think like, I'm grateful that my hands are, I guess, pretty sturdy. Um, and not shaky. So I haven't had to um, solve that problem yet. I have a theory that people from Massachusetts are sweethearts. Um, maybe. I mean, I feel like there's good and bad people everywhere, no matter like where you go. Um, just a matter of like who you meet. But if you're insinuating that I am a sweetheart, then I wouldn't disagree. I feel like I'm a Pretty nice dude. Not to toot my own horn. Um, it's cool to see that you're a dude in Texas. I wonder if you're close. Maybe. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to announce where in Texas I live. Um, and I don't know any, really any surrounding places. So I'm not really too much help. So... It's gonna be a grand mystery. Here's what we're working with right now. Just outlining shapes. Outlining shapes. Pretty tedious stuff. Um, hi, live streamer. Such a modern career. What do your paintings sell around? That information um, is not public. If you want to talk about pricing and stuff, and if you want to get something, I can answer questions via DM um, on Instagram at Nick Ivy. But um, yeah, I do not talk about that publicly because I guess talking about money is taboo. And yeah, and also prices change depending on what you want and what your demands are, how many canvases you want, what colors, what style yada yada so there's a lot of different factors that go into it. and also like where you live is another factor so it's not a you know i don't charge just x for something um there's a lot of variables um do you know what the panhandle of texas is just wondering i have literally no idea um no idea at all I'm gonna draw something right now because I have nothing else to do. Go for it. Do whatever your heart desires. Feel like drawing, draw. If you don't feel like drawing, don't draw. I feel like painting, hence why I'm doing this. Also because I have to, but it's also because I want to. Uh, for, it's 2 a.m.? Oh my gosh. I don't know how people stay up so late. I used to do it in college, but I literally, like I said a couple times before, I go to bed like at 9.30 or 10 o'clock every night. I am, I don't know. I just can't stay up late. I don't know what it is. Another donation. Oh my gosh. Got to run it, but I love your stream. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you for all your donations. I appreciate every last one of them. Honestly. It means a lot, so thank you. I truly appreciate it. Um, 
you like drawing nature on shoes or any plants? Um, I haven't really drawn too much nature. I've done a pair of shoes where I drew some mountains and some trees, but that's really it. Um, most of my clients just want like the standard issue doodle. So I kind of just always tend to do that. Um, it'd be cool to start introducing some nature into it, but honestly, I'm not that confident in myself to draw like realistic things. So that's pretty much what's like preventing me from doing so. But maybe one day I'll work up the courage to give it a test. I'm trying to do this in a way to like show you guys and also do it myself. That's looking pretty good. It's 8.09 here too. It's only 8.09. It's only 809 for me too. Or me three, I should say. Okay, now to work on the back heel. This is probably the most monotonous part of this whole thing, just outlining all the different shapes. Actually, I have a I have a question for y'all. I have a very, very serious question for y'all. I mean, we got 18 people in the chat. I'd be very curious to hear, um, one, what video is your favorite of mine? But then also, two, how you came to find my channel. Um, it'd be very interesting to hear how y'all came to be. Um, it's a super fascinating thing to think about and where you guys came from. Show us the pupper. Unfortunately, there is no dog. That is Logan's dog. Um, and since you know we are in under quarantine and social distancing, I'm no longer with the pupper, which is awful, awful news. I wish Katara was here. She's amazing. Do you think you'd be able to make some anime style shoes for a video? Could be epic. Actually, I'm working on some anime canvases right now that I will release soon. Um, a couple of my clients like wanted some anime with their canvases, so I'm doing anime for like the first time, which is pretty cool. Um, I looked up how to hotter dip. That seems pretty. Pretty standard. That video has gained a lot of traction. It has like 900,000 views, which is like crazy. Uh, for the first month, it had like 1,000 views, and then all of a sudden, YouTube was like, "Hey, we like this video. We're gonna, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it pop." Okay, we're done with this shoe. Outlining is all done. Well, not done. Done with it. We're just done outlining the shoe. Okay. Um, Hydro dipping thrift shop items is my favorite. Found your channel by watching ZHC's video. Interesting. I got recommended from um, someone that watched ZHC. Um, honestly, the hydro dip thrift shop items is one of my favorites as well. Um, the idea and execution was um, was very fun, and the the products came out really cool. Saw you through Ryan Trahan. Shout out Ryan Trahan. That's probably a lot of people's answer. Uh, Ryan's been amazing in helping me grow my channel and shouting me out. He's a super dude. A super dude. A super good dude is what I meant to say. Let's see. The phone was sick. Yeah, the phone in the Hydro Dip uh, Thrift Shop Items video was was dope. That's one of my favorite things I've ever Hydro Dip. For being honest, the colors very cool. Uh, I found you when you made both campuses for both Ryan's. Um, I like your videos when you painted your car. Yeah, another shout out to Ryan and Ryan. Um, yeah, it was like my first ever YouTube collab. And first time, that was actually my first time ever making canvases, surprisingly. Um, I didn't tell Ryan and Ryan that. I was like, yeah, I do canvases. And then for the first time ever made them canvases. And it turned out really dope and kind of just like kickstarted my whole career making canvases for people 
And yeah, my car, oh my gosh, literally painted my whole entire car and then sold it to someone. There was this dude, he was a magician. He bought my car. Crazy, crazy. But yeah, that, I feel like that video should get like more attention. I don't know how it didn't, but that's YouTube for you, I guess. My favorite video, especially uh, just black and white bands, first saw you through Ryan Tran's video, then found you on Instagram and watched like 20 videos. Whoa, that's dope. But yeah, again, shout out to Ryan and Ryan. They're the homies for sure. I miss seeing them being all quarantined up. Uh, favorite video is making a custom canvas for VidSummit. Yes, yes. That is also another dope video that I loved. One, I love the products, but then also uh, like the video itself, I had a fun time editing and making. Um, so I'm glad that someone appreciate, appreciates that video. I put a lot, of, a lot of hard work into that. This is also the first time I, was that the first time? Yeah, that was the first time I ever made three canvases at once. It was like my biggest um, art project at the time. Uh, the thrift flip was my first video, and my first, my favorite video uh, is the dresser. Ooh, two, two ones I haven't heard before. Okay, um, yeah, the thrift flip was a funny video. I went outside of my comfort zone for that one. It's crazy that like you found my channel through that. Um, and then yeah, I painted my dresser. Which shout out to my mom. My mom gave me the idea. She's like, you just paint your old dresser. And I was like, okay, and then did it. And yeah, I think it came out pretty cool too. So I appreciate that. Uh, I don't know if you remember me, but I was texting you with you on Insta. I probably remember you. Um, I talked to a lot of people, but I try to answer all my DMs. So yeah, I got you. Um, can I put a clip of this stream in my video? Sure, you got my full permission. We're chilling. Um, my mom says blindfolded art challenge. Ooh, that's another good one. Another outside my comfort zone, literally blindfolded myself trying to make some art. I forgot about that video until you said that. Joy says, what's your favorite soda? Actually, I don't drink soda. I don't like carbonation. The, the bubbles, the fuzz, the fizz, mm -mm, I don't like it. So I don't drink soda. I literally, I'm such a bland person. I drink water all day every day, and that's pretty much it. I, it sounds so boring, but it's so true. I don't like soda. And I don't like sugary drinks like Gatorade and orange juice. Like I don't drink anything besides water, which I guess is a good thing, honestly. It's healthy. Um, YouTube addicted says, love your live streams. I love you. Appreciate you. Thank you. It's my second official ever live stream. Feeling more comfortable. James Smith says, favorite video was your collab with Chris Howe. That's how I found your channel. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. I got a lot of traction from that video. Chris is another dude. I literally just reached out to excuse me, was like, yo, I'd love to make this free art. He said, yes. I drove 10 hours to Canada to where he lives and gave him some art. And then we became friends. And then I came back out to Toronto and we made some videos together. Yeah, Chris is the homie. Much love and much appreciation for Chris. The shoes are looking dope. Thank you. Yeah, we're getting there. We are getting there for sure, but yeah, we're almost done like the most boring step, which is just outlining. Almost done with the outlining. And then comes the fun parts, doodling. Uh, let's see, try drawing with your left hand. Oof, that is a no-no, especially on some paid work. Mm -mm. Sometimes I'll spray paint with my left hand if my right hand's getting tired, but um, as far as painting goes, yeah. All my left hand is good for is just holding the shoe as I use my right hand to paint. 
Jade, shout out Jade. Jade is one of the most loyal subscribers out there. Comments on all my videos. Much love, much appreciation for you. Great stuff there. Stay safe. All the love from Philippines. Much love. Much love. Nick, you ever had Olive Garden? Because uh, if you haven't, once quarantine is over, you got to go because that stuff is tasty. Surprisingly, I have never had Olive Garden. And if I did, maybe it was years ago that I don't remember, but I really don't think I've ever had it, which is another thing. Like literally everything you guys are saying, like, oh, watch Stranger Things, never seen it. What about soda? Don't drink it. Oh, what about Olive Garden? Never had it. Just, <laughs> what can you do? What can you do? Hi, the Pokemon shoes were amazing. Greetings from Venezuela. Greetings from Texas. Uh, thank you. The Pokemon shoes were dope. Um, I put literally so much work into that video and the shoes themselves. So I appreciate the love and glad it didn't go unnoticed. Okay, we are creeping in on being done with the outlining process. Just a couple of little spots I gotta clean up. Um, your mom is so good with ideas. Yeah, shout out to Wendy. You are killing it with ideas. Shout out to the dresser, the dresser video. Um, you call it soda or pop? I call it soda. I'm from the north, from Massachusetts. We call it soda up there, so. I call it soda, no pop, no cap. How often do you plan on live streaming? Do you mean like tonight or just like in general? Uh, as far as tonight goes, however long it takes me to finish these shoes, I'm assuming another half hour, 45 minutes. So basically at the two hour mark, maybe I'd be done with these. Um, just depends how fast I doodle, I guess. I recommend the chicken Alfredo Soup. I uh, don't know how to spell it, but I tried. I, I love chicken alfredo, so yeah, wouldn't mind getting that. That's a good recommendation. I'll have to go to Olive Garden once, you know, it's safe. Um, sorry, got a text message. Okay. Can you guys see this? Um... Yeah, so we're chilling, just doodling. Literally have no plan here. I just make, I take each section by section and go from there. So this is kind of like a, a standard thing I do, like these big blobs. And then what I can do is use like a smaller one. So this one's a little bit smaller. And with this, uh, adding smaller lines would just give a nice perspective to it. So I'll show you. If I do a small line like this, like that. Can you guys, oh yeah, you guys can kind of see that. Do some dots right here. And there you go. Yeah, adding the little, let's see, adding that small little line there just gives it like more character or something. I don't know. What about live streaming in general? Um, I'm down to do it as long as you guys like the live stream because I have to paint these shoes regardless. So I might as well live stream it, answer some questions while I'm doing it. Um, it makes the time go by a lot faster. I'll say that. I'd love to be actual friends with you. Same. I'd love to be friends with you too. But virtual for right now, especially right now is, is cool. But I truly appreciate the love and support on all my YouTube videos. I see all your comments. I appreciate you. I, I know who you are. Um, your support doesn't go unnoticed and I truly appreciate that. So thank you. What inspired you to start art? Simple answer, heartbreak. I was dating a girl, we broke up, I got sad, and I just started drawing to clear my head, clear my mind. And 
people started giving me things to paint. They're like, oh, can you paint my shoes? Can you paint this? And I was like, sure, sure. And then someone's like, oh, can you paint? Um, like my pair of Vans? I was like, yeah, well, my pair of Vans. Yeah, yeah. Started doing shoes and then had the opportunity after I graduated to paint like a school cafeteria. And then um, a friend of mine suggested I made a canvas and then started making canvases. My first ever canvases were for Ryan and Ryan, uh, two YouTubers. And literally it just, it stumbled like onto my lap. I didn't mean to become an artist. It kind of just happened. And it sucked really bad going through the breakup, but I am super grateful for it now. Um, literally doing what I love for a job and going to be happier. So what inspired me was heartbreak as sad as that sounds. When did I know you want to do this for a career? Um, when I graduated, probably I took it like a lot more serious because um, I had the decision to make like whether I get like a quote unquote real job or like pursue art. And um, actually I did both. I got like a real job and I just pursued art and then got to the point where my art um, I was making enough with art that I could quit my my actual job and pursue art full time. So, um, but I knew always, even before I started art, like when I first went to school, I went to school for entrepreneurship because I knew like I wanted to like work for myself, but I didn't know like how I could do that. Um, so I've always known I wanted to do like something creative, but I didn't know what until I got broken up with and I started doing art. We got another section down, doing these lines. That looks like 3D. That looks crazy. And look, the same thing, the same lines are like right here in these glasses. I made this shirt like years ago. Um, What's your favorite movie? I really like the movie Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is one of my favorite actors. Ace Ventura. Pet Detective, and When Nature Calls. There's something in the wing, some thing. That's great. Love Jim Carrey. I love comedies in general. Um, what do you do most on your phone? I would say Instagram. Instagram and TikTok are my, probably my top two apps I spend the most time on. Um, I like to think Instagram, you know, I'm at least working, you know, whether it's like DMing customers or new clients or something, I can like be okay with like spending time on it. But TikTok is straight up just like, just on it, just scrolling, scrolling. Sometimes I'll post, but yeah, those are probably the two, excuse me, the two most apps that take up the most time. Uh, love your shoes. Your Style reminds me a lot of the artist Sloth. Yes, Sloth is a huge inspiration. Um, actually grateful enough to like talk to him from here, like from time to time. Um, he told me what paints he uses and stuff and gave me some tips on how to paint and um, different techniques and little tips and tricks over the past like three years. So Sloth has been like a huge, huge help. And also like talking about pricing and like actual like advice um he's been like so kind and super grateful to like be able to talk to him ace venture is so good preach preach maggie preach let the people know i appreciate the humor you add to your videos thank you i try to be funny i think i'm funny so i try to add that so i'm glad that it doesn't go unnoticed What's your TikTok? My TikTok is at IBNick. So I B Y N I C K. Apparently, my name, Nick Ivy, was taken. So I had to get a new one. So actually, I had a TikTok that went like kind of viral. Uh, it has like 140,000 views. Crazy. Um, so I'm definitely like, I'm going to take TikTok way more seriously and like hopefully generate a lot more traction, a lot more traction to my socials, whether it's Instagram or YouTube. 
Um, but yeah, TikTok is a great platform to like go viral. Like the organic reach on that is crazy. I could post a video on YouTube, get like a thousand views, or I posted literally one video and got like 140,000 views. It's nuts. And I put like way less time into like editing the video, like edit a YouTube video. It takes like a day or two, maybe three days. Sometimes I'm, I've taken the whole week to edit a video. Um, but with that TikTok, it literally took me like an hour to edit, if that, maybe like a half hour and ended up getting like a lot of views in my opinion. So it's crazy. I got to take it a lot more seriously and come up with ideas for it more. Um, but that's something I'm working on. Uh, I have to leave, but I look forward to joining future streams. It's super chill and something I need right now. The shoes are looking terrific. Can't wait to see the finish on Instagram. Hannah, thank you. Appreciate you. Have a safe night doing whatever you're doing. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's see. Oh, James Smith started following me on TikTok. Hey, appreciate that. Appreciate it. Okay, we're done with another little section, a little toe cap. We're done. My internet garbo. Sorry to hear that. I wish I could fix it for you. But I cannot. Okay, what do I want to do here? Hmm. Well, hmm. okay, I got an idea. I've got an idea. Can you guys, yeah, you guys can see that. Just gonna do some circles. Some big old circles. That's on me. That's on me. Oh, I know. That's um. Um. What's y'all's opinion if I made a video? Well, I already filmed it, so it doesn't really matter because uh, I'm going to post it anyways. But I made a video titled "Artist." Actually, I don't really have a definite title, but the title I'm thinking about is "Artist Reacts to Overpriced Art Evaluations," where I found some cre like some some paintings that like cost 150,000. And I just like give my two cents on it. Um, but I'm post that. So it's like, I guess like a little commentary ish. Um, any initial reactions? Like, I know you don't know anything about it. Cause obviously I just filmed it today, but, um, does the, the title at least appeal to anyone out there? Yes. Upload that. <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, I just filmed it today, so I gotta spend the next couple days editing it. So maybe by Sunday or Monday I can upload it. Uh, Maggie says yes. Maddie says yes. Steven says upload it. We got four people just down. All right. All right. Do a peanut butter and jelly custom. That could be cool. But honestly, I'm a huge. Instead of peanut butter and jelly, I'm a huge peanut butter and fluff fan. I know it's a little wild, a little out there, but that's what I am. Lucas says, sounds good. James says, would love to see some vlogs. That could be cool, too. Um, I mean, maybe once, you know, social distancing is not a thing because my days are pretty much all the same. I wake up, I do an at-home workout, eat, and then do art and then eat, and then do art, and then eat, and then sleep. Um, fluff? Yeah, like marshmallow fluff. Yeah, peanut butter and marshmallow fluff. It's like super bad for you, but like I, I used to eat it all the time. Yes, sounds like one like could go viral. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping like a super broad appealing video could have the potential to go viral and get some eyeballs on my channel. Because at, at the end of the day, it's what it's all about, you know, trying to trying to go viral, trying to get a bigger following and trying to make a career um, out of YouTube as well as uh, my physical art.
You remember that banana tape to the canvas that was modern art? Yes, that is actually um, gonna be the thumbnail. I reacted to that video and I gave my two cents about it. It is crazy. I found out that it wasn't only, I'm not, actually I'm not gonna give it away. You can wait for the video to hear my, um, my two cents on it, but some crazy stuff I found out. It wasn't only just one banana. Have you seen the eBay TikTok? Um, yes. I think I'm gonna, if this video does well, I'm thinking about like reacting to like art TikToks and that's one of the, one of the TikToks I had saved actually. So I'm glad you're all on the same wavelength because that's something I um, wanna do. Uh, let me send it to you. I know what you're talking about. I got saved, I'm a step ahead of you, girl. I'm a step ahead. But I appreciate it, I really do. Uh, okay, boom, that is done. I just did that section. We're cruising through, we're cruising through. Okay, I'm gonna take a second and think what I want to do with this. I think I'm just gonna do some solid lines down here. Like that, super basic, but necessary. And then what I can do is use the other smaller marker and add in just little dots, just to give it a little something, something. Yarmin. Super focused right now. Don't wanna mess up. Looking good so far, appreciate that. Appreciate that, yeah, these are coming out pretty cool. Nope, gonna lie. I'm attempting to draw you for a video, whoa. Crazy. I'll be excited to see how that turns out. Let's see here. I didn't give myself that much room to work with with this little section, so I'm just gonna do the best I can. Just making these like bubbles. And that's another thing, like depending on how much space I have and stuff, that dictates what I draw. And so not having a plan lends itself to great success because if I'm like, oh, I don't have that much space here, I can just do more of a simple design. So, what if you made Avengers themed shoes? That'd be cool. Avengers is dope. Another good video idea. Maybe honestly a, a better TikTok idea. Cause I feel like, I just feel like that could be better on TikTok. I'm gonna start focusing a lot more on TikTok. Try to do like more viral ideas, like more bigger concept ideas for my YouTube channel and maybe do like, you know, custom shoes and stuff, save that for TikTok, hopefully generate a lot more traction to push to my YouTube. Cause obviously TikTok is, you know, it's fast paced, quick payoff, whatever. So, okay, we're done with this little section right there. Uh, Captain America would be dope. That would be dope. I could do all the all the Avengers. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Okay, what am I thinking for this section? Come on, Nick, think, think for it. I'm just gonna do some lines and then use the smaller marker 
for a little bit more detail. We still got 17 people in here. Y'all are the best. Sticking out, chilling. I appreciate, I appreciate all you guys. Friday night, you guys could be watching Stranger Things. Watching all these shows I haven't even seen. But you're spending your time with me. I appreciate that. Okay. Another little section done. I sent you the TikToks on Insta DM. Much love. Appreciate that. Okay, with this small circle. Obviously, I can't do too much. So, small circle just gets a little colored in. Love from Mexico, love from Texas. Thanks for joining in. If you're, if anyone new is here, we're working on some shoes. Almost on one shoe, I have another shoe to do. I've been burping so much, I never ever burp. This is weird. I apologize for all my, all my burps. Okay, last section for this top toe. What do you want to do? What do you want to do, Nick? You can do some arrows. When in doubt, arrows are always there for you. Let me use a smaller marker for this. That's on me. That's on me. Oh, I know. Okay. We're done with this little section. Some simple arrows, nothing too crazy. And now we're on to the back of the shoe. Uh, maybe a big art mural on the wall behind you. Yeah, could probably. I'll, honestly, I'll probably do a canvas um, since I'm in an apartment, um, and I just don't want to mess up the walls because I'll just have to pay for it at the end. So um, I'll probably just I could do a big canvas or something there. Steven, in a bit because I need some sleep. Um, Steven, good night. Sleep tight. And um, yeah, I wish you could see the final result, but we're almost done one shoe, so at least got to see that. Um, have a good night, man. What's your favorite genre of music? I myself love indie. Um, honestly, my favorite band for the last for the last seven years has been Tame and Paula. Like my first ever burn CD was like for my car, because my, my first ever car only took CDs. Um, I burned a Tame and Paula CD and just have been in love with Kevin Parker, AKA Tame and Paula for years and years. So um, if my favorite band is Tame and Paula, you can probably guess like what my genre is. Um, I love indie music. Also don't mind rap. Um, not necessarily like new rap. Um, my favorite rappers are like Logic and Big Sean. Uh, and Mac Miller, so well, Mac Miller, R.I.P. Um, so that's who I'm into. Also, I don't mind Drake either. Uh, tomorrow's my birthday. Happy almost birthday! Very exciting. How old are you turning? Um, how come you don't have a million yet? A million yet? Does Ryan Trahan ever shout your out? Uh. I don't know why I don't have a million. I mean, I'm, it's not up to me. It's up to YouTube, I guess. Um, oh, I guess it's up to me. I can make better videos and stuff. So I don't know. I just haven't made the right video in order to gain traction. Uh, so it's up to me. 
Uh, let's see. Do I know any creators in Austin looking for a videographer or editor? I do not. I just moved down here um, to the Texas area. I only know like three people down here. Um, I wish I could help you out, but I, I just don't know to be, to be frank with you. What's the name your friends are in? I have a friend, his name is uh, on Spotify, his name is Hound, H-O-W-N-D. He's dope. He deserves like so much recognition. I love his music. And yeah, he's a friend from back home. Um, H-O-W-N-D, Hound. Look him up, you won't be disappointed. He's dope, I miss him. Um, favorite food, peanut butter. I love peanut butter. I have peanut butter like literally every day. Um, I put peanut butter on my granola bars, put peanut butter on rice cakes. I'll just eat up sh straight up peanut butter. I love peanut butter. I love it. It's probably not good for you to love peanut butter, but I do. It's my vice. Uh, largest drawing you have made. Uh, like two years ago, I made a mural uh, in a school cafeteria. It was like a 40 by eight foot wall. Humongous wall in a cafeteria. Uh, that's the biggest I painted. Oh. Um, Favorite drawing you made for someone? <sighs> um, every new canvas, like I've said this earlier, every new canvas is like my new favorite. Um, and I feel like that's how it goes with everything. Um, fun fact, I'm allergic to chocolate and peanut butter. No. <laughs> I literally eat chocolate and peanut butter every day. Oh my gosh, I could not imagine. I feel sorry for you. That's a bummer. I don't know what I would do if I was allergic. Well, I guess I wouldn't have a craving if I knew I could like literally die or get sick if I ate it. So I guess you get used to it. Okay, we're done with that section of the shoe. Now we just have to do that section of the shoe. I love what you did at the barbershop. It's so cool that people know what I've done in the past. Uh, yeah, the barbershop was dope. Um, that was run by my good friend Joey. And um, yeah, he's from back home. I used to get my haircut from him, and I literally haven't got a haircut since I moved out. So, hence why I have this long, long hair. Uh, I used to have like a short, short hair, but since I moved down here, I haven't had Joey around to cut my hair, so I just haven't got my hair cut. That's how loyal I am. Oh, that's funny. But yeah, that's like one of my favorite murals I've done. Murals are scary to do. Pretty permanent. Um, How do you recommend getting more views. I mean, I have a thousand, not like a hundred views. Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure that out myself. I, if I had the answer, I would one, do it myself and then I would gladly tell someone else, but I, I don't know. If a video gets a thousand likes for me, I mean, a thousand views for me, I'm like, oh, it's doing pretty good. But, um, yeah, if I knew, I'd let you know, but I don't. Still trying to figure it out. My throat is straight parched. I go from not talking to like anyone this whole week to being on this live stream, just talking my, my butt off. Um, so it's a very drastic change in, uh, in way of life. 
Okay, we're almost done with this one shoe. We're getting very close. I appreciate everyone sticking with me. But also no pressure if you just want to dip. I get it. A Washington dude paint shoes. Could be entertaining. I guess it's really up to me. All the pressure is on me to make this entertaining. What would happen if you had it up your beanie? Um, the paint wouldn't stick to it, I don't think. Um, you should do paint spot. That'd be dope. Um, I mean, just because it's like there's so many different like um, ripples, uh, I don't think it'd really like adhere to it. But maybe if I got like a different type of beanie like a different material beanie, maybe that'd work, but I don't think it'd work with this beanie, but that would be a cool idea. Okay, ladies and gents, we are done with this shoe with a grand reveal. Do 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 we are done with this shoe. A little before and after, if you will. Maggie says sick. Thanks, Mag. Appreciate it. Yay, so cool. Yes. Love it. Let's get hyped up. We're almost done. We're in the home stretch. We're in the home stretch. Okay, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? And do some lines. How many people have Corona in Texas? Honestly, I, I don't know this sp specific number. Um, I know as a state, like we're doing better off than like, you know, like New York and New Jersey and stuff, but I don't know. I don't have an exact answer for you. Mom says, looks great. Thank you, mom. Appreciate ya. Love ya. Love ya, mom. Mom, also, don't feel like you need to stay up to watch this. You can go to bed if you want. No pressure. I won't take offense to it. Um, okay, so, so far, working on some lines here. Oh, uh, Are these shoes for me? No, these are for a client. Um, I rarely make shoes myself. I probably should probably like a smart thing to do. Like as far as like business wise goes, you know, promoting yourself, but I haven't really got around to it too much. Okay, just adding some lines here, nothing too crazy, some bubbles. Like that. Customize a whole desk, that'd be wild. Maybe down the road if I got a brand deal with a desk, I could do that, but um, I don't really have like the space to do it. Um, but that would be a cool thing. I mean, it, I've done a dresser. I mean, I definitely like I have like the physical abilities to do a desk um, But mean down the road that'd be a cool project Okay, we're done with this little section right here Have you gone thrifting in Texas? Yeah, last year, uh, before I moved down here, I came down here to visit Ryan and we went thrifting for a video on his second channel. Um, Ryan went to one shop, I forget what the name of the shop was. Um, you know. Is there a way you could doodle on food with some edible paint? Probably. Um, I don't know, I haven't looked up into it. So maybe that may be a cool video, like either painting with food or painting on food. That might be cool. 
That might be cool. Okay, what do I want to do for this section? Ah, I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, see what I'm doing. Do I have any other jobs? I do not. This is my one and only job. Well, technically, I do YouTube, which is a job, and then I do my art, which is a job, but those jobs pretty much like are the same. Um, I used to have a job, um, but I quit that job, and now I do this full time. I thrifted a bamboo shower caddy and put my art supplies in it. Best thing ever. Ooh. Send over a photo. I'd love to see it. That sounds dope. That sounds dope. I'll get a couple of these colors. How did you and Ryan meet? Uh, answered this a little bit. Uh, a little while ago, but basically I left a comment on his YouTube video like two years ago Asked if I could make him some art. He said yes. I flew down to Texas made him some art and we became friends Simple as that all from YouTube All from YouTube I am getting tired Myself, it's nine o'clock. It is approaching my bedtime. I gotta bang these out before I fall asleep while painting. What color are your eyes? Um, brown, maybe hazel. I don't know. I always say brown. I don't know if they're technically hazel or not. Uh, I don't know. Someone says Reddit oddly satisfying. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. This is Red Bull, Red Bull. I don't drink Red Bull. I don't drink any soda. Because I don't like the fuzz. I don't like the fuzz. The fuzz. Okay, another section down. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. It's, what's up? What's up, dude? We're chilling. Just paint some shoes over here. No big deal. No biggie. We're almost done. I see. Nice. Noise. Noise. To be honest, I've never watched your channel. Uh, I just popped up, so I think it's cool, and this is worth it. I respect it. I respect it. How do you even find about my channel then? If you don't watch any of my videos. Interesting. Okay, what do I want to do? Okay, with this little section, gotta use a small marker for this section. Don't know how you found the channel. Hey, sometimes it just do be like that. Sometimes you just get recommended random videos and maybe you just subscribe randomly. Who knows? Oh my gosh. I'm getting tired.
Come on, Nick. I can do it. Has anyone seen um, um, what we do in the shadows or even heard of it? Uh, like I said early in the stream, I just started watching the first two episodes today, and it's so funny. I just don't know how popular it is. Um, my friend Logan told me about it, but has anyone else heard of what we do in the shadows? If not, it's super funny. Channing says I heard of it. Okay, at least someone else has. Haven't heard of it. Nope. Got to Got to check it out. But honestly, I should. I could. I can't be a hypocrite. I haven't watched so many shows. So I don't. I can't blame anyone for not even watching this. Um, I'm only two episodes in into it. But I think it's super duper funny. Hey, bro. I'm gay. That's cool. It doesn't phase me one bit. Oh, let's see here. Has anyone heard of the weird movie from TikTok that's supposedly cursed? No, but it sounds scary and I don't like scary stuff, so probably won't ever watch it. Be more specific. I'm more of a movie guy than a TV guy. Honestly, same. I've seen a lot of movies, but not my fair share of TV shows. Okay. We are getting close to being done. Just want to see your reaction. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. What do I want to do here? Let's do this. Okay, so I've got a very um, cliche question to ask, but if anyone, I should rephrase that. What superpower would y'all get if you could have one superpower granted to you? Something I want to know. For me, I would probably go with flying just because that's dope. Um, but I'd be curious to hear your, your ideas. Maybe you can sway my opinion. Um, like being invisible, being invisible would be cool. Super strength would be cool. Ooh, mind reading Maggie. That would be quite useful. Super speed. Also could be very useful and very fun. Don't need a car or a train or a plane or anything. Actually, you probably need a plane. Unless you could run so fast on the water, you just on top of the water. Maybe. So I guess I joined late, but what's the theme on the shoes? Um, the theme is the customer picked out the colors and he just wanted me to doodle on them. So. Uh, not really any strong theme here, um, just like a typical doodle. We're almost done. We got this shoe done. We just got to do this one now. Oh, do 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 do. Have you done Ultra Boost or Yeezys for? I had to dip a pair of Yeezys. Uh, Ryan Trahan let me hide dip his Yeezys. Excuse me. That's on my YouTube channel. Um, it came out pretty cool. 
Transporting, that would be dope. Like teleportation, that would be sweet. Uh, what do I want to do with this? Okay, I know. Or ice powers, hmm. like um, from The Incredibles, Mr. Freeze, I think that's his name. Where's my super suit? Honey, where's my super suit? That. Basically, yeah, got it. that's cool. I can get behind that. Okay, I got another, I've got another question for y'all. Um, what's y'all's favorite um, Pixar movie? There's a lot of great options. Um, but I'd love to hear y'all's opinion. Uh, side note, I just got that section done. Jonas is up, up is phenomenal, but such a tearjerker. If you know why. If you know, you know. Ratatouille. That's why I'm wearing a beanie. Um, actually, there is a rat underneath my hat controlling all of my actions. I actually don't have any artistic skill. It's just a rat in my hat. Um, oof. Wall E or Coco. I haven't seen either of those, actually. Wall E or Coco. I mean, they gotta be good if they're tied for being your favorite. Toy Story or the or Ratatouille again. We got two votes for Ratatouille. I haven't seen Ratatouille in such a long time. I'm gonna have to rewatch that soon. Almost done with this section here. Just doing some random lines. Damon, hey. What's up? Ooh, Monsters Inc. Yes. Monsters Inc. is so good. You forgot your paperwork. That's such an awful impression. I love how I'm doing all these impressions and like literally cannot do any of them. Oh, I can do, I have one impression. Do you guys want to see my one impression? from a, a Disney movie, and then you can guess what movie it's from. Even if I get one yes, um, I'll do it. And then y'all can guess. <clears throat> someone says Cars. Um, cars was good, someone says. Still no one yet. Oh, okay. Again, some people would say yes, okay. <clears throat> Oh, let me get a sip of water first. <clears throat> All right, the poison, poison with Cusco, poison special made to kill Cusco, Cusco's poison, that poison. And then another impression of this character is, uh, <clears throat> and uh, squeak, 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 squeak. All right, the poison. First person guess who that is and what movie it's from gets a virtual high five. Very high stakes. Time is ticking. Waiting for these 
comments to roll in. Reminds me of the turtle from Nemo. Nope. Not that. Maybe y'all haven't seen the movie. Oh, a lot. Kronk, you got it. Okay, you earned your virtual high five. Ready? Three, two, one. Doug Dimitai. <laughs> Doug Dimitai. No, but it's a good guess. Pull the lever, Kronk! Roll the lever! It's good. It's probably my favorite movie. My favorite animated movie. The shark from Finding Nemo. No, it was Kronk. And uh, squeak, 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 squeak. Ember's new groove in Rango. I haven't heard of Rango. Kronk from Ember's new groove. Yes, yes. What is Kronk? You don't know what Kronk is? Who Kronk is? You gotta watch Ember's New Groove. Find out. You watched the movie yesterday? Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm so jealous of you. I have to watch that. There's so many things I have to watch. Oh my gosh. Okay, folks, we are getting very close. Why are you so underrated? I don't know. I don't know. I appreciate it though. I appreciate the comments. Uh, what was I just gonna do? Oh. Adding some more lines, nothing too crazy. Do the Lola impression, you do it so good. <laughs> I Flattered you like it? Okay. <clears throat> Lola from Big Mouth. <clears throat> oh my god, I feel like a dump truck. That was off. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Oh my now I'm freaking out. Okay. Oh my god, I feel like a dump truck. Ugh, I feel like I can't do it right now. I put it, got put on the spot. I can do better. Um, I was a little nervous, I guess. Um I hope that impression didn't scare people away. Okay, we're almost, I have one section left with this, um, the front part of the shoe. Just that section right there. Uh, what's the worst movie you've ever seen? This is controversial, controversial, but um, Uncut Gems, I know it's like acclaimed, like super good or whatever, it evoked a lot of emotion, but like I realize why it gets a lot of praise, but for me, like it just made me feel so bad and I like just didn't like the, the movie. And it says best one I've heard, much love. Appreciate you. Good enough. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, you put me on the spot, so it's kind of your fault, I guess. But I don't blame you. I was flattered that you even asked to get the impression.
Okay, adding some dots here. Boom. I forgot you were part of a series, right? Uh, what was the name of it? I forgot. Oh, my old job? Um, it was Rubriculous. It was called Rubriculous on YouTube. So have fun and look that up. Um, it was a good time. It was a good time. Okay. All that's left is this back section. And then we're done. Two hours and 15 minutes, not too bad, not too bad. Um, I'm just gonna bang this out. Another section done. Pretty simple in the back here. Okay, we're getting there. We're so close to being done. Another section done. You should do a hot ones challenge while you customize a pair of shoes. It's so funny you say that because I literally had that thought uh, yesterday morning when I was brainstorming different ideas. Um, it's it's on my it's on my idea list. Um, I would love to do it with someone. I don't want to do it by myself. So maybe I have to wait until quarantine is up so I can actually do the video with someone. Do this more often. It's fun. Thank you. I'm glad y'all are enjoying it. What's, what is the best TV show? Whoa. My favorite TV show uh, that I've watched is Portlandia. So funny. It, that's just my sense of humor. And I literally laugh out loud watching it. Um, and I'm two episodes into uh, what they do in the what we do in the shadows, what they do in the shadows. I forget, but I'm two episodes in. Phenomenal as well. It's so funny. Oscar says you and Trihan would be good. Yeah, uh, Ryan said he was down to do the idea. So um, yeah, just waiting on uh, the execution of it. So that should be sometime in the future. A video. Okay. When's the reaction video coming out? Um, I just filmed it today, so I'll probably spend all day tomorrow editing it. If I get it done tomorrow, I'll post it. Maybe Sunday morning. Hopefully, I'll say this. Hopefully Sunday or Monday I'll post it. Um, hopefully a quick turnaround with that. Javier, hey, thanks for joining the chat. Um, love the shirt. Thank you. Made it myself. Made it myself. Hope you're doing well, Javier. Hope you're doing well. Okay, we're literally so close to being done here. Got another section done right there. Some simple arrows. James Smith. Okay, last section. Oh my gosh, I got so excited. Okay, here we go. One more, here we go. What should I do? Um, 
Okay, I got it. Boom. And with that, we'll take a sip of water. Okay. We are done with the shoes. Time for a grand reveal. Dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. We'll do one shoe at a time. Ooh, yes. What do you guys think? I think they came out super duper cool. Hopefully my client does as well. The shoes are sick. Thank you, Maggie. Dip says, aloha, aloha. Should I add inverting the colors? That'd be cool. I actually was thinking about that uh, not too long ago, uh, doing a black pair of shoes with white doodles. I think that'd be cool. Javier says, they look awesome. Thank you, Javier. Ryan says, fire. Thank you. Maggie, cool. Thank you. Oscar says, fuego. Gracias. Whoever's going to get them is going to love them. Appreciate that. See, Dip says dope. Thank you. Very, very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yeah, it's dope. Just under two and a half hours to complete these. Not bad. Not a bad turnaround. And not a bad Friday night spent. I'm glad you all are here with me, chilling. Uh, it's nice to have some company. Let's balance these up. Donation from Ryan. Hey, thank you. Thank you for hanging out. Hope to see you again. Where can I get some custom shoes? Um, hit me up on Instagram at Nick Ivy. N I C K I B Y. Nick Ivy. Just DM me. I'll respond back. Uh, you should customize shoes for Madison Beer. She's big on TikTok. Ask her on Instagram. See if it works. That'd be dope. Yeah, Madison is would be amazing to get a hold of. Obviously, she has a huge following. So yeah, that'd be amazing. Um, Brooklyn says, cool as always. Thank you. Uh, the purple looks so good on the shoes. Thank you. Um, oh my gosh, I thought today was Thursday. That is what quarantine will do to you, Javier. Uh, today is actually Friday. It's actually good Friday. When you think about it, it's good Friday. Uh, Maggie will peace everybody. Great stream, Nick. Thank you, Maggie. Have a great night. Appreciate you. Thanks for your, thank you for your support. Um, with, yeah, if anyone has some last minute regards, they want to say, um, I'm going to take, I literally just forgot what I was going to say. Um, I'm going to hop off the stream. I am, as you can tell, super tired. Um, and having these bright lights at me is, a uh, very draining. So, uh, let's see. Glad you did a stream cause I'm so bored. Um, I'm glad you came and hung out with me, dude. Uh, have a great weekend. Very cool stream. Thank you, Javier. Much love. Oscar, adios. Bye. Stay safe. You guys stay safe as well. Um, yeah, I'm about to sign off. Any last regards? And it's down for like 30 more seconds. I'm going to take a sip of water in the meantime. And then hop off. Okay. James, yeah, get to sleep 3.30, time for sleep. It's 9.30 here, and I'm ready to pass out. So have a great night. Hey, dude, nice hydro flask. Thank you. Okay, with that being said, I'm out. Thank you for sticking with me, watching the shoes we've made. If you want to see me on TikTok, it's I-B-Y-N-I-C-K, Ivy Nick, or on Instagram, Nick Ivy. But yeah, I'm out. Thank you for, thank you for chilling, and uh, I'll see you in the near future. 
So peace. Good night. Stay safe.